Um, NC State's DJ Burns drawing NFL interest as an old tackle. Mm. Could he make the transition from college basketball to the NFL? I don't know his background. I don't know if he played or not. Um, there has been people like Antonio Gates, Tony Gonzalez, but Tony Gonzalez was a football player. Let's be clear. That's somebody that I grew up with. His older brother, Chris, was my tight end in Juco. I, Tony is a football player. Let's be clear there. Um, Jimmy Graham was a football player. Antonio Gates never played. He was a basketball player that got a shot, I believe, where Akron or where the hell, whatever it was. He played basketball. Here's the thing. I don't know if this kid, DJ Burns, has played football or not. I have no idea. Um, I think it's more – Kent State, sorry. I think it's more of a story because you can have all the body, the – you know, we've seen the, the, you know, the LeBron James and all these different things. You got to have the mental mindset to go out and just fucking play football for the first time, especially in the NFL – Right. It's a different ball game, especially at O line. First of all, he does not have an offensive tackle's body. Being a personnel guy, I don't see him as a tackle. I see him as a guard. We'll ask Tank Johnson in the second hour uh, what he thinks, but I don't see him as an offensive tackle. But if he's six, not, well, how big is he? You know, he's about six seven, six eight, I think. So, I mean, it's tackle frame, but he's got a very unique shape. Lower yeah, body. Just, uh, yeah. Like lower body is more of a he's he's stick around the waistline, which is not good for a tackle. He's more geared for a guard. Um six seven a plus footwork, but you don't know what a plus footwork is as an offensive lineman. It's a whole right. nother step. Like these are six cent steps as you move people. This is a whole nother ball game. I'm not so quick to jump on it that he's yeah, he could play. Why these narratives get thrown out there so loosely? I have no right. idea. I, I, mean, no idea. I mean, I mean, I've just saying he has the like ingredients. It's kind of like, all right, if you if you go to somebody's house and they have you know the black pepper, the garlic powder, the onion powder, they got they got the meats, the raw meat sitting there on the table. Like, okay, you have everything you need to make to 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 make some real good fire chicken, but that don't mean that you a chef. That don't mean you can cook. You, you, you can put JB in the kitchen with some ingredients and, and put the same, uh, same ingredients in there with another dude and the two, two totally different meals. Because just because you got the ingredients, you got the size, the lesson, all that, don't make you a football player, man. You got to play football to know football. I'm sorry. Let me, let me ask you part. this. Though. Let me ask you this as devil advocate. Let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Does he fit in this NBA landscape? Does that kid translate to go play right now in the NBA? I don't see another center in the NBA or forward his makeup right now in the NBA. Do you? He's not. Zach, let's be honest. Zion is losing weight. He's not Zion. Zion's much mm -hmm. more gifted as a fucking free runner, jumper. We already know Zion's much better athlete for basketball. Uh, does this kid fit the narrative? If I'm his agent or if you're his agent, are you maybe pushing the football narrative as – this may be our go-to. You're not mm. a three-point shooter. You're not a perimeter big. That's what the NBA has become. I am actually worried about this Zach Eady kid. I don't see a place for him in the NBA. I don't see him being in the NBA. Yes, he's tall, but he's not Wimbenyama as far as handling the ball at the top of the key. He's not 190 pounds. He's a huge human being that can't really move. And in the NBA... Nothing is going through the paint anymore as it once did. This isn't Mark Eaton and fucking Sean Bradley days. This guy's mm. a seven fucking five goof that's sitting down there in the paint dominating college boys. Like Jeff Nadu said, Purdue has Zach Eady. No one else does. In the NBA, they're going to force you to be – you're going to be a liability. I want to know if Zach Eady translates to the NBA and what's his – future like that's why maybe if i'm a smart agent i'm telling this kid hey we got to make you maybe maybe have an nfl 15 year career at offensive line like wonder i'm just asking that question wonder if that's something that a smart agent is thinking about because i don't know if the nba is suited for these cats no more these big body lumber body cats yeah, I mean, I, I think it's some. I mean, you got to consider all things, but I think I think you have to just see what, what the market is talking about on the basketball side. You know, as an agent, you got to go out there and hustle. You got to see like, okay, how serious is, is it to, to that you'll have a, a realistic chance? Because 
again, I, I, I think that these guys, I mean, these guys aren't maxed out in terms of the skill set. I think you can learn more. I think I seen DJ uh, Burns when he, uh, old pitcher, when he first started playing college ball, he, he was like slim, actually. So he has the ability to slim up, tone up a little bit, move around a little bit better, and and, and develop more of a different skill set. And also say this, man, I, I think everything's full circle. And I kind of feel like basketball, I mean, it's still, it's still a you know three-point shot lead. We know that. But I just think – we're starting to slowly see the big man starting to kind of play a bigger a bigger role. Now I get it. It's, these big men now can dribble, shoot, pack, can do everything. So I you you do have to develop more of a skill set. But I I do see the league not being as afraid to like play through their big man in things like things of that niche. So we'll see, man. I mean, I I think you got to consider all things though. But I, I, I'm a firm believer, man. You got to. You got to play the sport to know the sport, man. Football, I, people think you just got to be a good athlete and go out there and just play. And it's like, I think it's kind of disrespectful to the greats and the guys like us who actually did it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so much work that goes into it, so much stuff you got to learn, the mental side, the physicality side. And to say a basketball player can just up and say, okay, I'll just play football, it kind of belittles it as if it's just an easy sport that anybody can do. That's why I get upset when people, people say, all oh, these NBA guys would have been a up uh, uh, all pro hall of fame wide receiver this is like listen bro maybe i don't know but like for y'all to just assume that because they're athletic and they're tall that's not come on bro i know a lot of people who look like tarzan play like jane they go out there they're an athlete on the basketball court but on the football field they're, they're not coordinated i've seen it all the time i've had guys actually come out there and play it's like ah no nah, this ain't this ain't for you you know what i'm saying so i don't Smitty, know let's uh since you're so fucking legit all of a sudden and, and you know, you never tell anybody, how about you introduce our next guest, the great Korean Cosell? The Korean Cosell, man, one of the smartest men on the planet, man. A guy who's not scared, not afraid to share his honest and truthful opinion, whether you agree or not. He's going to give it to you. He's a boxing savant. The man could talk about sports, food, culture, politics, and everything in between. The Miami U fan and legend, the one, the only, Steve. Kim, give it up for Steve. Damn, what's up? What up, Steve? Um, rollies, rollies, rollies. Can a basketball <laughs> player that never played football go right over and play back football? I know Antonio Gates has done it. Kent State basketball player gets a shot in the NFL. Play tight end, though. Different body. different. A you could be an athlete, vi run vertically. If you can catch the football, you're a Hall of Famer. Uh, that's what ended up happening with him. This kid for NC State, bigger wobble body kid. Um, they're saying he's an old lineman already. I'm like, I don't know if he's played. I do not know that. I can't go out on a limb and say he played football in high school or whatever. If he hasn't, though, I I'm fighting it. There's just no way. Foot footwork is totally different at O-line than it is in basketball, and he's not an offensive tackle body type he's a guard six seven i don't know how big he is size wise but i six nine 275 dj burns said he played football growing up but stopped after he got his first basketball scholarship offer as an eighth grader he was a tight end and defensive end during his football hmm. playing days hmm hey, interesting steve yeah, I don't see a lot of guards that are six seven though. When you're above six six, you're gonna be kicked outside. I it, that's gonna be tough. Can he handle the physicality? I still remember in the '80s when there was like twelve rounds of the NFL draft. When it got to like round ten, teams would start drafting guys like Carl Lewis. <laughs> and so, you know, they would do the. It, it was kind of funny. It was it was a little bit of a publicity stunt, but they would even ask like Ronaldo Nehemiah was a great track guy world-class hurdler he actually had a short career with the Niners great speed he made a play, play here and there but a couple of things number one the understanding of football at that level it's a much more complex game than I think people realize and then also the violence and the physicality he actually got knocked out on the field one time he ran a crossing route where he should have sat down in his own uh in, in Atlanta and this cornerback his name I think it was Bobby Johnson I mean literally blasted him uh, as Mike Tyson would say, into Bolivian. And he fumbled the ball. They ran it back. I, I don't think he ever had the stomach to really play football ever again or wanted to. Or He got a dose of reality. You know, as Smitty said, football is a mentality. It's not just a physicality. It's a mentality. You got to be a bit of a savage. Got the, average, the average guard height in the NFL is 6'5". Uh, mm. The average tackle height is 6'7 in the NFL. 
six, yeah. six, and six, six and three quarter. NFL guys are different. I'm just telling you up front wise, our guards shit with the Chiefs back in the day were both six, seven. Uh, I know all the normal people in the chat know more than me, but offensive guards, you get two centers. You want six, three, right. you know what I mean? You want a smaller guy that can move. Same with guard. Guards are your heavy bodies. They're trying to do the double team on Smitty to work to the linebacker depth. Tackles you want fleet footed, thin in the waist, small calves, long arms. I looked at this kid. I don't see long arms just yeah. as a personnel guy. I do not see long arms, contrary to everybody in the chat's fucking belief, since you know so fucking much about personnel in the NFL. I guess you have 30 players playing. Anyway, uh, he has no long arms and he has. A very, very – his core is not a tackle's core. You have to be able to bend, kick, and slide. I do not see that. He has a guard body right now. Right now, though. Now, if he if he does something, maybe. I don't know. But if I were somebody, though, Steve, I would look at him on the defensive side of the ball – for the simple fact that Three, you two. don't have to teach as much. Go see ball, hit ball. Let's really see if you are that athlete. Yeah, and a guy like him, he'd have to be willing most likely. Uh, look, do I see him making a 53-man roster off the bat in that league? No. He'd probably have to go practice squad, maybe play in one of these spring leagues, um, and really work at the craft of knowing how to punch, set, kick, and then be able to absorb contact. Football is not for everybody, no matter what they've done to the game in terms of making it less violent. I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. It still takes a special kind of human being to play this game at that level. Especially in the trenches. The trenches yeah. ha hasn't changed as much as the other positions out on the field. So, Steve, once he gets hit in the fucking face, he might just say, I, this is not for me. It's like a boxer that doesn't that thinks he can go box and and – Whatever these guys, the cowboy, the what's the guys for the cowboy just got his ass whooped every time. Oh, and two tall Jones. <laughs> yeah. No, well, the there have been, been others. He's the most famous, but no, the Hardy. Oh, Greg Hardy. Yeah, he well, won Greg, he, he, he's actually won a few of them in MMA, but he got he lost yeah, a lot of them too. Yeah, well, <laughs> the face, like, oh fuck, I don't want any part of this. Yeah. 